gonna try to finish out this year on a big on a high note. See if we can't go ahead and get that tag fit. It's a balmy 24 degrees up here. A little higher country than what we were in when we and Guy were hunting down south. I'm thinking I'm on a stinking ATV trail. <laughs> this is getting pretty damn narrow. What I'm wanting to do is rather than hike in 10 miles into unfamiliar territory, I've always kind of been one to think, you know what, locate deer first, or at least, you know, sign plentiful sign and all of that especially when you're in new country when you're scouting slash hunting all at the same time which is not the right thing to do. Uh, I mean sometimes you just you what else you gonna do you, I mean it drops your success rate way down to do it this way but then you're also kind of paying it forward for upcoming years, right? Especially if you videotape it. I mean, if you're videotaping what you're doing, you can refer back to that. Even if I don't post this, I'm going to be keeping it. Along with them tracking. That looks like four-wheel drive country. something from every adventure, right? Even if it's what not to do. Oh shit, there's a boulder. You avoid that. Anyway, if you look past me here, some of this terrain, it's quite something. So yeah, I'm road hunting. Sometimes it's just a good deal what you gotta do. Then you never know what you're gonna see. I saw that Arizona pinstriping. You damn sure don't want to do this in a vehicle where you to scratch her up a little bit. You know? If something happens to this Jeep, I don't know how I'd ever get out of here. Checking out that video stabilization. <laughs> hey, so... Trying it again. Walking down this ravine. Little T track road. Not seeing any real fresh sign here. Let's see if it develops into anything. I feel a little more at home here than I did in the desert. That's for sure. I had a snow a couple days ago. And it already melted off. Okay. Almost to the top. That's the road going up. All the way from the bottom. Shit, I'm getting old.
So yeah, I'm breathing heavy. There's a reason. Look, you never know who you're gonna run into. It's Will Smith. Hey Will, heard you got a new movie coming out. Legend 2. I am Legend 2. Wanna talk about it? Guess not. We'll see how you are. You say, youngin. See, and rather than just going to the brush a little ways and give me the trail. I'll push her. Well, now she's letting me know what she thinks about it. Oh, girl. Yeah. Vegetarian thing. So, here's one of the depressing things. You hike in here. I'm guessing it's about five miles. Hoping to find a tank. And you find this. This has been dry for quite a while. That sucks. Got my steps in. Hey, so <sighs> sat down here. I had a bite, a little trail mix, get some protein, get it going. Look behind me, and it looks like somebody left a trail camera. Uh, looks like it's been kind of busted up. Ain't no telling how long it's been here. But, being a trail cam owner myself, even though all I'd have to do is cut a rope and take it, I ain't gonna. Somebody's allowed to come in here and be curious what all's on there. So, leave it alone. I ain't mine. Anyway, so, I'm gonna foot it back toward the Jeep. I have not seen any deer sign notable. There's some old dried up elk crap here. I really thought this would have water in it. Uh, but the Jeep is about two miles that way cross country. So I'm gonna go that way, loop up a drainage, see, do some glass and get off the trail and maybe I'll cut some track or something. So we'll see how that goes. More to come. Side note. Yeah, this is my Sweetwater tank. Don't know if that's silver. Looks pretty good. So, get up here toward the top. That's a pretty good climb. Cut down some of the glare. Give me a hard 
hard time for breathing heavy. Well, come on up. Come check it out. Can't beat the view. I did finally just cut some deer track too. So, thinking this upper elevation might be the ticket. Okay, so this climb up this mountain has been, it feels like three miles. I know it's only been maybe one. But this thing has pushed me to my limit. So I dedicate what's left of this climb to my sister who passed away, who had arthritis so bad she couldn't walk across the living room, much less climb one of these mountains. So Karen, you couldn't, it's killing me, but this is for you. Okay. Oh, I got a burn into my knees. And there you go. Okay. Whew. Hot damn. sharp marbles. I'd hate to fall on my butt on one of these things. I mean, look at that. That would cure a prostate. Okay, so something... Sorry. It's kind of low to the ground. So if you wonder why I'm walking down the road, look at that. Blasting's not really an option at this point either. So I'm not throwing in a towel. I still have almost a mile of this just to get to the Jeep. And then we 
got that Jeep trail to get out of there. Which is quite similar to this. Not near as many marbles. And it's about this wide. And this kind of terrain. Okay, so I just jumped a muley doe. Most likely when she blew, if there was any with her, she took her with him. It's hard, you can't be quiet in this stuff. There's no way. You got ankle breakers on the ground and thick brush. Do you know why I've been up here all day long? haven't seen anything and then all of a sudden that doe jumped up. And like down in the desert, a doe. So if we look at this like a teachable moment. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, north side slope. And that may have been the only deer I'm gonna see, but I'm thankful for that one. At least I didn't get skunked. sliding.
there was an example of falling uphill. Didn't think it was possible. But it is. Okay, so I got a question. And leave a comment. Do you think it's better to scout to scout during a hunting season so that if you come across something you can shoot it? Or do you think it's better to scout months ahead so that if there's really no deer in there then you don't waste your time during the season. Comment below. I'm curious what you think. What do you do? I mean, both of them have merit. You know, I'm not trying to start an argument, but make a point. Let's talk about it. So here we are, this is kind of the end of this. I get a bad habit when I start headed back to the Jeep, the truck, camp four-wheeler, whatever. I usually just put my head down and I start walking. I wonder how many deer I've walked past or just stood there looking at me while I walked on by. Maybe I don't want to know. Anyway. So I'm keeping the okay, keeping the GoPro on. I can tell you how many times something jumps up and I didn't have the cam camera running. Feel good to get this pack off my back. I'll probably grow an inch and a half. Like a coiled up spring. And look. There be the Jeep. So again, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. I'm gonna quit, keep trying. I'm gonna try to say I'm not gonna quit, and I'll keep trying at the same time. Honestly, I'll keep this up. So let me know what you think. kind of helps motivate me to know that you guys are watching so do like it like it hit that like button hit it a couple times <laughs> subscribe so let me do this with me looking at it you know uh there's probably another hour, hour and a half of sunlight, but quite honestly, I don't know where to go. I don't have a clue. Um, still going to take me a while to get out of here in the Jeep. So, I don't know, maybe. Do me a favor, will you? Comment. Um, hit that like button. I mean, it helps motivate me, helps keep me going. I mean, I'm going to do this no matter what, but do I still want the added challenge of filming it? Hell yeah. So let me know you like it by hitting the like button. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I put something new out there, um, you'll get, you'll find out and you'll be able to watch. So 
Um, let me know what you think. Make sure you comment. And we'll keep this thing alive. Okay, until next time, have a good one. And keep hunting.